Hey guys, welcome back to our brand new video. Um, today, well, first off, let's start off by saying I hope all y'all had a good New Year's and a good Christmas. Um, as you see, the truck, well, my green truck is not here, but I have some good news on that. The shop, it's at, the shop, at my cousin's shop, and it's gonna get the four link put in. I don't know when yet, but there's no rush, because I mean, not, I've never rushed to anything. There's no show, there's nothing coming up, so I'm not really in a rush. But, as we have the truck in pause right now, I decided to give the tow pig a little upgrades, little upgrades here and there. As you see, it already has 20s and 37s on it. So I'm going to redo this whole front end. I already got most of the parts that I need um, for, for today. I'm going to change those lights up there, the cab lights, and put some fog lights on it. And also take it to my boy Uriel and get it tinted. So yeah, let's get straight into it. And see Odia again, the tent and the machine ready. But this will be the last time you see the truck like this. Well, last time you see my windshield cleared through and my side mirrors um, not dark at all. But yeah, after the day, this shit should be smacked out and look way better. Well, guys, I almost got home and I forgot to record when Odia, um, after I left the shop. But as you can see, he's done with it already. Real dark, looks good. Um, um, so this is one thing done, 10 done. Now, tomorrow, I'm just gonna do the fog lights and the cab lights. And I'll probably show you all some parts that I have in already, but you can see how it looks inside. This is at, dark, at night, so I'll probably show you a video of it tomorrow in the morning. But, yeah. Well, here are all the parts that I've ordered so far. Well, I have ordered everything. I just need to get it here. I still have my grill. The 05 grill, because I'm doing the 05 to, I think, 07 conversion for the front end. Here are the headlights. I just need the grill. And here are the fog lights that I'll worry about to install today. You see their LEDs. Um, this is the emblem for the grill. If you know you gotta order it separately, there you go. Um, here's also the cab lights. Mine, don't, mine aren't the OEM cab lights. These are like the universal ones, so I had to get the clear ones off those. They look kind of weird. They're supposedly called um, teardrops, but here it is. And what else did I order? I forgot what this is, but yeah, this is what I ordered. And we're still waiting for the grill and the side mirror um, little clear cap right there as you can see right there but yeah let's get there's all these fog lights. for the people that don't know what front end i'm talking about is this because look you can see that grill is way thinner and different this one this one's more bulky and these headlights are one piece i ordered these but in clear and i ordered this bump this grill for that one and it should look like this and like this one right here i'm switching out those for those also so this one could look good but the cab lights the oem cab lights look like this like little little turtles and you gotta change both of them out but these i don't know who decided to put these on but i think these are i guess somebody put them on because nobody these didn't come with it or this one didn't come with it but that's why it has the teardrop ones and that's why i had to order these like i said but yeah no problem i'll just unplug it and plug these on here they are the only thing you really gotta do is just take this little screw off and honestly to make things easier i'm just gonna take this off um take the light bulb off and just switch it out for this light bulb and this killer cap so it'll be way easier for me so i won't have to like um cut wires and all this so hopefully it goes as planned and it's easy so yeah well guys when i ordered this it supposedly was supposed to be white the bowl is supposed to be white. It ain't white, man. It's literally yellow. That sucks. But I just ordered the white um, um, bowls for all of them. So it'll be fixed in a minute. Um, probably when it gets here, probably like Monday, I think. Um, so that'll be uh, good for now. But this one is the only one that's gonna I have to redo because this little thing that holds the thing broke, that holds the bulb in broke. 
So one thing I'm doing is you see right there, it's already plugged the ground the power's already together. The only thing you gotta do connect the ground to I mean I have it I'm gonna just screw it in right here. So the screw let's see if it see like I kinda hard to do one handed. Oh there we go. Look. Got some ground, got power, so it's gonna turn on. The only thing you gotta do really just push it push it that way and slide this way and it'll come out. But like I said, I'm just gonna leave it for now like this. Whenever I get the new bulbs, I will trade them, switch them out. So probably what I'm doing right now is just gonna switch these little clear the clear caps off. So yeah. Okay, so I had to do the same side, same thing from that side to this side. I don't know why, but for some reason it needs ground in like it doesn't want to turn on. But I got all them on. That one's off because I guess that that bulb was fucked up. You can kind of see this light up lights up but i think it's messed up i'll probably just switch out one of those bulbs from the new ones in there for now and then when the new ones get here like i said switch them out and it should look good and you can see now i got the cab lights on they are all clear now i'm just waiting for the light bulbs now so that i can get all white it will match the fog lights and all this in front that is getting clear too and i'm wired those wire i'm gonna wire those bulbs up so they can light up too but as you can tell already, the whole truck is tinted. The black glass I'm waiting on. I'm going to throw two layers of five in the back. Got to schedule that with Uriel. But I did 35 on the windshield. A strip of five. And all of, uh, all of all the four doors are 5%. But that's how it looks right now. I will throw in a clip of how he did it. But um, let's get to these followers right now. Okay, first things first. Make sure you see where the... Where, each of these go because you see they're both different and i guess this one's for the right no left because it's lh and this one says rh but these are supposed to go in those holes and there's a hole up here but for some reason there's this bar i guess well they didn't have a light bar in here the person that had it before me but if you stick your hand up you can feel it up here there's a hole up here this one is supposed to line up up there and these are supposed to line right there. So, yeah, that's all you gotta do, really. And then bolt them up and plug them in. At the end, after you bolt it on, it should look something like this. Which I think, ready to see these on at night. I'm not ready to see the, the cat lights on because those are gonna look ugly. But these I'm ready to see and finally see how they look. Um, plus, they will help me with my um, windshield tint because well, not really because I ordered the uh, new clears and those clears will make it look better. But also just in case, you know. And also when it's foggy outside, it will help out a lot. So yeah, that's how that's one side done. Let me get the other side and show y'all at night how it looks. After you're done placing them, one thing you gotta do is just plug them in and just take off the little like plastic that it come with, that it came in. Well, mine came with a little plastic, like little, I guess, protective for it. Yeah, damn. These are the brightest. I don't mind that even need my headlights. And that's how they look, though. What y'all think? But that's a, that's the fall lights. And the top ones, like I said, they look ugly because they are not white. They don't go over any of the truck. I am going to switch that out, like I said. Switch that out, connect it. And it should all be white. Let me know, should I color match it? I'm thinking about color matching the side mirrors, the front lobe on valence, um, maybe the these or get chrome ones. Let me know. Um, color match all this, color match this, color match that. Let me know. But yeah, guys, this is how to install the fog lights and the cab lights. And let me know what y'all think about the new build. It is gonna be something simple and clean. I'm in the. I'm probably gonna end up getting 35 grabs because I want it to look good. It's one of the simple and clean, like a farm truck, you know. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about it. Well, guys, I hope this video helps y'all out for the ones that want to do the cab lights, the cab lights and the fog lights. Um, like I said, this truck doesn't have them, neither of those, so I just did it for the, for it. And it's just really plug and play, really honestly. But um, let me know what y'all think. Should I do the color match? I am doing the 05 conversion, like I said, for the front end. So it's going to look way different in the next video. So I just want to go for that clean farm truck, work truck vibe. 
So I'm not gonna go crazy crazy on it. I just wanna look good and clean. So I can drive this sometimes, I can drive my truck, my green truck, and I can use this to tow it sometimes, you know, because I am planning to go to Atlanta and maybe some shows in Texas, maybe. Not sure yet. Just depends how my schedule is looking. But yeah, let me know what y'all think. And I hope y'all enjoy the video and peace. Una silverado, es la que me acompaña pa' todos lados.